Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, welcome if you're new, today we have a lot of business to do, I have so many different plans to report and also I have a lot of your questions to answer, so while doing the reporting I'll also answer some pretty interesting questions, so this should be such a fun video because I will be reporting so many cool plans, let me introduce the stars of today's video, so we will be reporting my uh, philodendron burl marks variegata in sphagnumos it will go into the soil right now it's actually working on a new leaf so i know this is not the smartest idea but it seems like it really needs to be in the soil and you know start getting all of those nutritions from the soil so i'm just gonna wing it you know we also have this beautiful huge monstera decursiva i am so excited about it actually this is insane i uh, it's still in the same pot i received it and as you can tell i just do not need to hold the pot because the plant itself holds it i mean look at all of those crazy roots so this is a plant that definitely needs to be reported and i just love how thick and chunky this boy is like oh my gosh we also have a christmas carol aloe because we had an accident and i actually overwatered it and it had a root rot so it rotted itself and i only have the half of it but i'm still glad i managed to rescue at least half of it and have it in my collection because it's still pretty special plant it has a beautiful story anywho we also have this beautiful philodendron mameka thing that is also propagating in sphagnum and I know it's also working on a new leaf right now, but it really needs to be reported. I can see all of those roots all around this glass jar and I just cannot keep up with watering it because it just dries out like every two days and I just sometimes forget about it and I'm really worried that I might to forget one day for a little bit too long and it'll be a disaster, you know? <laughs> we also have this crazy cutting in this shot glass i mean first of all look at this crazy root system oh my gosh right so it actually also have a new growth popping up so i think this is really a time to report this beautiful philodendron pariso verde and i know the plant leaf doesn't look the best but i think this might be because it doesn't get any nutrition and it's you know working on a new growth and it needs a little bit of a kick into the nuts you know so i'll be reporting it and hopefully it will help it out why do i speak so fast i feel like i'm you know commenting on some kind of sports or something <laughs> I also have this beautiful jewel orchid in this terrarium and as you can tell it's really cramped over here so I want to report it into the soil because it's still in sphagnum moss and look what's going on with the roots and you know all of the shrubbing and lastly we have this variegated epipremnum pinatum a cutting that I won accidentally and I mean this plant just have the insane amount of roots and is really ready to go into the soil and I just want to finally see some leaf growth, growth on this cutting because as you can tell right now all it does it just grows you know these uh, naked notes and I just don't like the way it looks so we're gonna work on it so as you can tell we have a whole bunch of different stuff going on we have cuttings that are completely bare without any roots or anything we have sphagnum moss cuttings we have water propagations we have soil propagation so oh my gosh this will be such a colorful video and i also have a bunch of various questions about very different stuff from my wedding to rocky to my pot i mean custom pot orders and you know favorite movies and stuff like that so prepare some snacks and drinks this video might be a little bit longer but why the heck not the weather outside is rainy and cloudy for at least three days right now so it seems like it's perfect to have some longer videos just to hang out with somebody you know chill out a little bit and while doing so maybe do some plant chores so whatever works for you let's do this let's kick it and let's let's kick it yeah <laughs> all right so i have your questions over here let's start from the beginning so we have question from john adams who is asking is english your third language how did you get so good at speaking english and then we have another question which we'll go through so yes english is actually my third language my first language is russian my second language is lithuanian and my fourth language is polish so I mean, we could say that I know three and a half languages because I'm not as good in Polish, but I'm learning, you know, it's never too late to learn some languages. So, okay, let's probably report this decursor. 
Okay, and get it out of the way because it's really big. Let me put you a little bit lower. And let's... Do you see something? Oh my gosh, okay. Okay, nobody panic. Oh my gosh. Hold on. Hold. I said hold on. Oh my gosh. This is a really small area that I'm working with, so... Is it okay? Okay? Okay. Okay. Agnes is always mad because I keep on leaving these cabinets open, but they are just really difficult to keep close. But so yeah, I am Russian who is living in Lithuania. So obviously I know both of these languages and English is my third language. I started to learn it in school. You know, I mean, I had to learn it in school because it was a subject from the fourth grade, I think. And from fourth grade, I started to learn about English language and I wasn't good at it for at least seven years because I never thought I'm gonna need it, you know? I thought I already know two languages. What else do you want from me, you know? But then, you know, life happened and I started to watch YouTube and a lot of videos were in English because not so many people are filming videos in uh, Lithuanian or Russian. I mean, right now probably there is like a lot, but when I started watching, it wasn't that many. So I started to watching plant tubers, YouTubers who speaks English. And I knew that, yep, I need to start being more serious about English. And I started learning and I started watching movies, YouTube videos. And I think what helped me the most that I started to talk a lot in English while filming my videos. So I have this channel for three years right now, I think. So if you'll go way, way, way back to the beginning of this channel and you will hear how, heard how I was speaking. It's like day and night, I think. Thanks for clicking on my video because that means a lot for me. Um, I already can relate to you because I love watching YouTube videos about houseplants. And this is one of the reasons why I decided to start my own YouTube channel. Another reason because I'm afraid of speaking in English, but I have to. So maybe this will help me a little bit. You'll be my judges. <laughs> in my opinion, I mean, I cannot hear myself talking in these videos. It's just so cringe for me. But I'm trying my best, I'm still learning and I still have so many words that just, you know, sometimes don't come to my mind when I need them, but yeah, so this is how everything happened. That's about it, John. <laughs> also, you asked, do you prefer grow plants in plastic or terracotta pots? And it's 50-50. I really love, as you can tell, terracotta pots, but I prefer them for plants like cacti, succulent, hoyas, and sensivarius, aka dracaenas, and stuff like that. But for the plants like I have in this reporting video, I prefer plastic see-through pots because I am a little bit worried about these plants. I do not want, you know, to fail and have a root rot or something. So it's really good, like a, a really good hack to have them in plastic pots that you can see how the roots are going. You can see if the soil is still moist in the bottom of the pot and all of that. It's really helpful, especially for those who are new to plants. Oh my gosh, this plant really don't want to leave. This... Oh, 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 all right, wow, this is crazy. First off, look at all of that roots. Oh my gosh, it seems like you were really cramped over here. Oh my gosh. Okay, I won't touch the roots too much because it's working on a new leaf right now and it won't be really smart not to disturb this poor guy. But anywho, next question. We have from Lindsay. Do you watch plant channels on YouTube? What are your some favorite YouTubers? Yes, I do, obviously. I love plant content. I mean, if we will look like seven years back into me all i watched on, on the youtube was you know plant channels like harley g and stuff like that and of course i still am watching it's actually pretty weird for me when other plant tubers say that they do not watch other plant tubers because it's like a little bit weird for me i know it's not something you need to watch every single day obviously but some videos are definitely so much fun to you know see other people's experiences and maybe some helpful tips and stuff like that so Oh my gosh, I love so many actually. I am not picky and you know, I love wild fern. I love Benji plant, plant me Ashley. I love Kaylee Ellen. Obviously good and plenty. I love cat. I love uh, cozy planting. I love 
oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, I forgot your name, but Hoya, Hoya. Oh man, Hoya, oh, the lady who really loves Hoya. Oh my gosh, I forgot her name. I will leave it on the screen, but I really love her channel. I love how down to earth she is. I'm really bad with names, as you can tell, like horrible with names. <laughs> I actually have a photographic memory, so I remember people by faces and some features they have, but definitely not by the names. So I'm real sorry about that. I don't know who I'm apologizing to, to the plant tubers or to you, because I suck at the sensor, but I'm real sorry. Anyway, AEP is asking, what are plants you would never want to own and why? And actually, if you would ask me this question about a year ago, I would say begonias, hands down. Oh my gosh, never in my life. But right now I actually learned that I, I do not suck that much at plants. But you know what? After taking care of all of these crazy plants, like, you know, these ones in this reporting video, I started to believe a little bit more in my power of growing plants and you know what never say never like you know smart justin bieber said any like a long time ago anywho oh my gosh my brain doesn't function today what the heck but as for now i don't see myself growing a caladium maybe because i just do not have the heart to see all of those beautiful leaves die off uh, for the winter and then wait for them to grow back because I'm just really in impatient, you know, so maybe that would be the answer Okay, so we have this beautiful beautiful the cursiva all planted up I love how much it feels already upgraded that you do not see any roots in any side But it will be so much helpful to see those roots and see if they're happy white and you know thick and chunky and not yellow and rotting so for those who are new to plants and you really not sure about your watering habits and if you're over water or under water highly suggest plastic see-through pots because you will see if the pot itself is still moist for example okay 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 so here is my beautiful philodendron verucosum that i watered yesterday and you can tell that it's watered you can see how moist soil is in the bottom especially and you can also see that the roots are already growing from the bottom even though i reported it like a couple weeks ago it's crazy this plant is crazy i mean you can also see this moisture holding up so really helpful okay so we can take this one out of the way looks fabulous loving it loving it thank you urash by the way this is a plant from one of my subscribers urash like some of these also will be from him Oh, gorgeous. Okie dokie. Next we will work on on probably burl marks. So let's take you out of the sphagnum and answer some questions. Bridget Rose is asking, what made you decide on the name Rocky for your adorable dog? So he just was over here. I'm not sure if you saw him or not, but I have a German Shepherd. Big fan. <laughs> there was also a question, why did I chose German Shepherd and if I wanted German Shepherd from the early beginning, so I'll answer both of these right now. Actually, some people asked them, which was crazy, nobody ever asked that, so that's fun. Anyway, Rocky is actually my fiance's favorite movie ever. I mean, Rocky Balboa. For those who are not into Sylvester Stallone, I'm not even sure if there are people who don't know who the heck is Rocky Balboa. Maybe the young youngsters, you know? <laughs> But yeah, so I knew how much my fiance loved. Oh my gosh. Ooh. Oh yes, that looks good. Sorry, distraction. Anyway, so yes, I was really into Rocky Balboa. It's his favorite movie from his childhood. And we, when we knew that we will have a German Shepherd, I thought this is such a perfect name for a German Shepherd because they are badass, you know, people are scared of them and they are so cool and, you know, masculine dogs. And I thought, yep, there is no better name for him than Rocky. So that's how he became Rocky. Not Balboa, but Rocky. But whenever when people ask about why he's Rocky and they say for the Rocky Balboa honor, everybody's smiling. So I'm like, mm -hmm, I know, nice choice, right? <laughs> and also some of you asked, why did they chose German Shepherd with Agnes? Agnes is my fiance. I love big things. <laughs> oh my gosh, yeah. So long story short, from the early childhood, I loved, you know, all of the big stuff. So 
It doesn't matter if we are talking about plants, toys, wardrobe, dogs. <laughs> the bigger the better for me. So I love chunky stuff. I mean, oh my god, this sounds so naughty. I'm so sorry. But yeah, I love big stuff. I love how he's a cuddly bear and you can just squish him and hug him and you will feel like a whole bear in your arms. I mean, imagine Chihuahua, right? Chihuahua, how is it in English? Ooh, 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 Chihuahua, right? So imagine this teeny tiny baby and you like, you're gonna scoop him and like, ooh, I love you very much. Like, yeah, very nice. Ah, doesn't work for me. I need to squish him and like, you know, I need to let him know how much I love him. I need to, you know, like, anyway, so yeah, that's why German Shepherd and also we've been attacked by one of our neighbors years ago. You know, there was like a whole story and, you know, we went to the, uh, to the, to the place where the judges say stays and i'm not talking about like marketplaces <laughs> uh courtroom oh yeah we went to the courtroom and you know won the case but you know that was like the whole story and you know what i did not felt safe anymore in my home because they these neighbors came into my home while i was like at home so it was really scary and from that moment on i really felt like this is the time for my dream come true and have a big dog because it's spooky to be home alone especially so i think a couple months later after this accident i got rocky i found him under a christmas tree i have a full video with the real time footage on my channel so if you look into my older q a videos you will see you know how everything happened and my reaction to seeing a little tiny potato dog in my home this was insane but yeah that's why oh my gosh this is such a long answer i'm so sorry okay also what is growing on my balcony right now and the answer is nothing even though it's spring already here we still have pretty cold days outside so it wouldn't be really smart to have any kind of plants there so nothing yet but very soon i'll have a whole series on my channel where I will be taking like most of my houseplant collection into the balcony to enjoy you know the summer and the sun and all of that and yeah. Cody Lane is asking when's the wedding? <laughs> I feel like whenever I... oh my gosh there is a new growth that's sweet. So okay this is what we're working with very beautiful burl marks right I'll already report it because even though there's a little bit sphagnum moss, not too much and I just don't really want to rip all of those roots. It's so painful. How people do that, I'm not sure. How people cut roots. Oh my gosh, don't even get me started on that. But anyway, uh, the wedding is coming some sometime, anytime soon. I mean, we would... Okay, I'll put the cards on the table. We would have been married already like months ago, maybe even a year ago, but so many stuff happened in our life. I mean, Agnes lost two job places in, you know, in the corona time. So we did not have like the finances to get married. And then my dad passed away half a year ago. So once again, everything went on hold because I just really did not felt like getting married when my dad passed away just so recently, you know. <sighs> but right now everything seems to get into the places. Agnes finally found a job. Actually, some, somebody of you asked what kind of job he got. So he is a transport manager. Right now he's an assistant and you know, he's working with wood, transporting wood from China to Europe and yeah. Right now, if everything is fine and he can keep his job, I can keep my job because once again, nothing is for sure during this time since there is a war in Ukraine because of Russia's genius president. That was a sarcasm, by the way. So not sure, but I really have some hope that maybe this year it will happen. And it won't be some crazy wedding, you know, with crazy amount of, I don't know, balloons and guests and all of that but it definitely will be a cozy one and i cannot wait to take you along so obviously there will, be, there will be some videos that i will take you along with and all of that so stay tuned guys stay tuned subscribe if you want to see some 
upcoming videos regarding that. Kim Smith is asking, how do you get such gorgeous plants when you live in such cold climate? So I live really north in Lithuania, in Europe, really close to, you know, all of those Nordic countries like Sweden and Norwegi Norway and all of that. Sorry, I almost said it in Lithuanian. <laughs> okay, look at it. Gorgeous, fabulous, ready for action. Oh. So actually, I think the biggest help I had was my grow light. I have one single grow light, uh, Mother Light Plant Spectrum 32, and it was just making wonders. It's so intense and I have it over here. Hello. So yeah, so it was intense and it was doing the, be the best job I could ever ask for. I mean, it stands over here, but it would get light for all of these plants behind me in this shelf and also over here. So it was like a savior and also lots of hope. <laughs> so I don't have the best humidifier. I have a diffuser that you should put oils in. I It works for me because I have like in this spot where you see me, all around here are like 80% of my houseplant collection. So even though it may look that I have, a, I mean, I have about 150 plants, so it's not that. So, oh my gosh, I want to say much, but it's kind of much. <laughs> yeah, um, I just love them. I talk with them and sing to them. I have a light, I have some teeny tiny humidifier and I just keep on checking on them like every other day or something because I am really afraid of pests. I have a huge problem right now with trips and all of that. So lots of love. I don't know if that's helpful. I'm so sorry if it's not. I'm actually confusion. I don't know. Okay. So Ned Joy 22 is asking, what's your favorite movie, food, song, season of the year and holiday? Holy nuts. Okay. That's a lot. So let me answer this one quickly and then we'll go into the other plans. So my favorite movie, Mummy, obviously. Oh my gosh, I am such a huge sucker for all of the Mummy movies. I mean, the last one wasn't the best one, but you know. Anyway, I love all of the treasure movies. I love all of the movies with Sandra Bullock, like uh, House at the Lake. Oh my gosh, this is such, or Lake House. This is such a cool movie. I love really mind fuck. <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I should say it, but you know, thriller movies. I love treasure movies. I love Harry Potter movies and all of the movies that have some magic in them. Hope that answers. Uh, food. My favorite food is Varshkeche. It's Lithuanian or in Russian it's Sirniki. It's like pancakes, but they're made out of cottage cheese. And I love only those that my mom makes because all others I have ever tasted are like meh, <laughs> you know? Song. My favorite song is, I know, Britney Spears' Raider. Anyway, season of the year, spring, because that's when my birthday is, of course. And holiday, my birthday. Or Christmas. Okay, now let's get to the plants and other questions. Okay, Joanna Angel is asking, what do you like to read? Oh, I really like those, uh, okay, okay, little break, okay. So we'll work on this praise over this. So I really love to read fantasy books. I really love to read some adventure books, especially if there is something with mystery and something with treasures and some secrets. Oh, I will read it for day and night, you know? I really love, right now I am reading Ever Rise, The Lost Art of Keeping Secrets. Here it is. And it's actually pretty good. I am, um, not i haven't read that much yet so but it's actually so so fun and i would love to read it like right now but right now i am so busy with busy oh my god that sounded so russian i am so busy with all of your pot orders and youtube and live it's like insane so i read it only on you know weekend days when i have like an hour for myself or whenever i am on a bus so but really really like that one Cape Verdean Queen asks, does Rocky have any pet friends? And no, actually Rocky, you know, he is real Rocky Balboa, to be honest. So whenever we would try to find friends in, you know, playgrounds of dogs, he would be the rough one and he would love to play, you know, with other dogs, catching them or running away from them. But whenever he would catch up with one of them, he would bite them in the butt. 
so not a lot of dog owners love that and they stopped being friends with us we had one german shepherd uh, lady you know girl i think her name was oh my gosh I, I already forgot her name it's been at least a year since we have been playing Maya oh yeah so she he had a really good friend Maya and the owner did not mind too much that they played a little bit rough because she was also German Shepherd so she would bite back Rocky and that was actually so hilarious to watch because they were they would always be so confused why in the heck somebody is biting back <laughs> like how that how does that work how does it work yeah anyway but right as for now no he don't all of his friends are people and humans like my sister my mom Agnes best friend and you know us so a little bit sad I would love him to have some dog friends and actually we're thinking whenever we are getting married and starting to think about house situation we will have more dogs so Rocky can have some friends you know a lot of you asked me a plan that I would never rescue or buy <laughs> like there should be like a, a blacklist or something you know there is no blacklist on my book i think i mean rex begonia still cannot understand those things you know and the poilias actually maybe that will sound weird but i just cannot understand them you know i had maybe three of them and all of them are no longer with us so that explains a lot i guess veronica is asking is everything okay with rocky no actually right now once again his face is swollen as for last couple days and he's so itchy we actually just finished the medication and you know what we'll get another veterinarian opinion we'll go to another vet that actually specializes in german shepherds because we're just tired of the same problems coming back like monthly and just paying the crazy amount of money i mean all of the money guys that you send me via paypal all of it went to rocky's veterinarian uh checks so it was crazy time and right now it's already coming back and it's so it, it's so painful to see him so itchy and in pain and so swollen actually right now he's looking like quasimod if you know what i mean so everything is back but we are working on it and soon i mean right now after filming this video i'll go ahead and call our recent veterinarians and ask for his uh, like history of illnesses so we can have something for the other vet to see you know and to note prehistory and all of that so yeah still working on that he's a very poor guy really poor guy but anyway okay look at this beautiful root system beautiful new growth right coffee cakes one as favorite harry potter book or movie actually i love all of the first ones and the more we are getting into the darker stuff the less i love it <laughs> i'm actually such you know a positive person and it's so easy for me to get all of those bad vibes and you know feel bad afterwards so i really love the first one obviously because this is like the most uh, carefree movie i would say you know the Voldemort is still like pretty dead and kind of alive so it's not that bad situation over there and you can see so much happiness in you know exploring the wizarding world and just get to know everything I think this is what I like the most about the Sorcerer's Stone part of the Harry Potter because you know it's like the beginning of everything you know the beginning of getting into the magic and finding out about flying on the brooms and all of the magic tricks and you know all of that so most likely the first and the second one would be my favorites but the more we get into it the darker it gets and i'm like scary you know so i hope that answers your question here we have it beautiful actually we have a label from urosh beautiful philodendron paraisa verde I mean it's not as beautiful as I would like it to be but we're working on it it's so cool to see this beautiful growth point so I'm really hopeful really really hopeful okay I'm actually not sure if I will have enough soil okay, okay 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 no panic we have some actually okay actually have some pre-made orchid mix that is so cool because we have some peat moss over here we have 
uh, bark, we have perlite, so just mix it all up with the previous soil that had some coconut coir. Oh, I actually did not told you what kind of mix I'm using. So pretty much coconut coir, perlite, orchid mix, some orchid barks separately and cact cacti mix. And all of that makes that. Okay, let's see what's going on with this jewel orchid. I haven't opened it in about three weeks, so. Oh yeah, you're pretty thirsty, aren't you? Okay, Melanie asks other hobbies besides plants and my biggest plants. So my biggest plants are actually my rescues that you cannot see. I'll actually, if I won't forget, I'll add the photos, but I have Pachira Aquatica, I have huge rubber plant, or Ficus Elastica, I have huge Alocasia Zebrina, I have pretty decent Monstera, that you can see a very sad leaf because that's where when Rocky is exciting he's wiggling his tail at so this is kind of hilarious but anyway so yeah and wait what was the beginning other hobbies oh okay oh I love a lot of stuff and that's probably my biggest problem because I am so easily entertained <laughs> I love going on the hikes with Rocky obviously I really love reading books and watching movies and Ooh, I really love cooking, I mean baking, not cooking, baking, I really love doing some sweets, I love, oh, I love drifting, like really much, I love traveling, <sighs> drawing, oh my gosh, don't me even get started on drawing, especially right now when I'm able to draw every single day your order on my pots. Actually, since we are going into the pot team, a lot of you were asking about my custom painted pots. So, okay, where do we begin? So some of you asked me the pricing and the pricing is actually so difficult to tell because you're all throughout the world, you know, and every single one will get a very different price. So my pots themselves, they're actually not that expensive, like 60% or even 70% of the price you get is actually just for shipping. And since I already had some broken pots arriving to the customers, I mean to you guys, it was so sad, but we made a decision to pack them even more well, you know, with not only bubble wrap, but also with some peanuts, you know, that you have in the boxes and all of that. So since we're using much more bubble wrap and peanuts, we need to use bigger boxes. So the shipping itself is more expensive because the box is bigger you know so for the pot itself i actually am getting from 20 to 30 dollars i mean sometimes 40 depends on the drawing some of you are ordering you know pots with uh, drawings on both sides so that will be a little bit more expensive obviously because it will take me twice the time to paint it but yeah my pots are about let's say 30 dollars that's like the the middle you know of my prices but the shipping can be from 60 to 70 dollars which is insane i mean including the packaging materials all of the boxes you know the bubble wrap and all of that so i know that's insane i know that's something that a lot of you don't like and say oh my god this is like crazy but guys what else can we do if you want to have a you know if you want to receive a pots in one piece it's really important to wrap them really nicely you know i already learned my lesson i had to repaint four pots i think so you know it's not that fun to do it for free and send them out for my own money right now i actually did not make too much money out of my pots because i had to resend those four pots from my own money so everything i was you know making from the pots i had to send so Actually, let me show you the pots I just finished painting. Since I have them just really close to me, let me show you and let me know what you think about them. So we actually have a bunch of them. Do you remember the one that I had made with yoga? This one is with a little bit uh, different shipping. Anyway, so this is with, with darker skin girl and also with its cat. What do we think? They both are doing yoga. How cute is that? I actually had so much fun painting this one. We also have mushroom pot. Oh my gosh, look at this one. So cute. 
Isn't it cute? Ah, oh, ah, oh, really love that one. Actually, a lot of you on Instagram loved it the most, so this was so fun because I had so much fun painting it. This was my first time ever drawing mushrooms and I loved it so much. I definitely will do it this sometime soon, I guess. We also have this custom pot for one of you also. How is it? Lady actually ordered this in honor of her dad that passed away recently as well. So he loved horses and this is the color of their horse. He loved roses and that's, you know, all of that. What do you think? What do you think? Really excited about that one. Oh, and yesterday I finished off this white bunny. Ah, what do you think? So the lady ordered one for herself and also one for her daughter. And her daughter has this white bunny, so. Hmm? How is it? Oh my gosh, isn't that cute? So I actually paint these pots for at least four hours. I mean, most of the time, five hours. So for five hours of work, I take about $30 plus shipping. So isn't that crazy? I know that's crazy. And it sucks because I know that a lot of you actually do not order them because it's a way too expensive, you know, to get pot from Eastern Europe to United States and all of that. But also some of you do order them. I actually will be painting soon the one for, for Iceland, which is like, you know, all of, by the way, hi. You, a lot of you are asking, do you ship to United States? Yes. Yes, I do. Actually, like 70% of my pots go there. Another big chunk of these pots will go to Canada, like I mentioned in Iceland, also Germany, in United Kingdom. So I have only one order that will go to Lithuania <laughs> where I live. So yes, all of the all of my pots go abroad. So okay, so I will pour this jewel orchid into this orchid mix, into this small tiny pot. It actually do not have the best root system. I will just pour it up into this mix and we'll see what happens. I actually will once again cover it with something like glass jar or something to make it like a terrarium, you know, because it really loved there. But right now it doesn't look too happy. But it will be. It will be. Let's not lose hope, right? Okay, so Olaf actually, since we're talking about Iceland, hi Olaf. I saw your question. Let's get into this. So, okay, I have a question. How do you fit all your beautiful plants in your living space? I have a small apartment jungle and I'm running out of ideas to place plants. I don't have space for any IKEA cabinets and I'm renting so I can install shelves. You can seem to make your collection work perfectly. <laughs> First off, thank you. <laughs> so, okay, a lot of my plants are actually on the ground. And even though I have a German Shepherd, he just don't care too much about my plants, which is a huge plus for me, you know? But also, I use very different things to put my plants into. I mean, if you have curtains and curtain roads, you can always uh, put some macrame hangers or simple plant hangers out there and just put plants directly onto your windows. You have windowsills. I, all of my spaces like this, all of my shelves and cabinets have like plants on them. I have them on my microwaves, on my fridge, on all of my counter spaces and I have on one and only shelf. I actually want to buy another one, the same one to my balcony area. But yeah, like this whole wall is filled with plants that are on the ground. So that's how I make it work. You know, I actually also do not have that much plants that you would think. I mean, even though I say I have 150 plants, I mean something around that. A lot of them are this size. So. It's nothing too crazy, you know? I guess. I hope that answers your question. I mean, uh, when I did not have that much space, when I was living in United Kingdom for half a year, I think, what I did, I actually used some old books that I um, I was not reading and, you know, interested in. So I just compiled them into the pile so they would work as a plant stands. I also used simple stools to work as plant stands and I would put plants underneath and on top. Right now over here I have a stool that works as a plant stand for my philodendron. I use other pots but I I mean if we have a plant right and I want to put it on the ground but just don't want to put it on the ground so I'll take another pot that is a little bit bigger and I'll do like so. Ta-da! <laughs> Not sure if this is helpful, but this is actually really helpful for me. That's how a lot of my plants are standing on the ground and, 
you know, some space, not just simply on the ground. So that works for me. And hopefully at least one of those tips will be helpful for you. I hope. Okay. Okay, we have last plant in sphagnum. So let's work on this philodendron mame over here. And we have another question from Anna. N, how do you balance your days between plant care and work? And the answer is really difficult to be honest because I actually am losing so many friends of this hobby. I already lost so many friends of, for this hobby. And you know, I do not put 100% of myself into my work because you know, what I am the most passionate about is you know, YouTube, YouTube and my plant videos and my plant orders. So all of my you know, interests and all of my power goes directly into them and not into my job. So I'm not sure if I am the best person to advise something on that because just like I mentioned, the plants are priority for me right now because I just love to be with them. And because of that, I lost a lot of friends. I mean, I do not have friends right now, to be honest, I think. I mean, there are a couple of friends who would hang out with me like once half a year, but you know, it's not the same. You know, my best friend is my sister, I think. So, and my mom, obviously. You know, we're the gang right now since my dad passed away. We're, get, we're so much more closer and spend so much more time together. Actually, this weekend we will go to my grandma to celebrate Easter. Since I'm Orthodox, our Easter will be this, this Sunday only. So this should be so much fun. There will be aunt from UK that arrived only for Easter. So this should be fun. I will show you some traditional dishes if you want. Let me know in the comments if, if you want. And you know, some of our traditions maybe. It's so weird. Probably this, this will be actually the first Easter with only ladies because all of our men are dead from that side of the family. So my grandpa passed away a year ago, then my dad passed away. And there are a couple of brothers of my dad, but I think they'll be with their family. So still not sure how everything will look. Maybe they will come, but I'm pretty sure they'll be, that will be a pretty different Easter from the previous ones, you know? But anywho, wait, what was the question? I'm so sorry. Welch. Also, yeah, how do I balance everything? It's not easy to balance and you will definitely lose something. In my case, I lose interest in, interest in my job, I guess. <laughs> Can you hear? Rocky snoring. <laughs> Hilarious. Oh my gosh, I love him so much. Okay, so there are not as many roots as I thought there will be which isn't that fun, but I think we can work with those. Bam. I think this shirt is better for the root showing, right? Okay, so this is the last plant with sphagnum moss. Let's put it over here. Okay, and I'll plant it into the spot from the cursiva. Okay, bam, shabim. All right, it seems like this video will be really long. I already have 50 minutes of footage, so I'm pretty sure I won't add any of intro footage for this video and I will keep it for my next one because it will be like an hour long video and I'm not sure if you would like an hour long video from me. I mean, I'm not Kill Ellen, you know? <laughs> I mean, it's not an offensive comment, by the way. Don't take it wrongly. Jesus, calm your tits, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, mommy, <laughs> fabulous. Oh my gosh, so professional, look at it. Ta -da! Cute, so cute. Okay, and we have two more plants left, so I'll just dip it as it is. Bam, shabam, make a hole. I'm not sure if the mic will get the sound, but Rock is really snorting. <laughs> snoring. <laughs> He's so hilarious. Oh my gosh. Okay, so it's not stable, obviously, because it doesn't have any roots, but for now it should work. And last plant left. I think this will be enough swell. Good. We have this black pot that I poked a hole with a knife into. 
very professional once again and we have this cute cutting that is already falling out of this jar so it really needs some help i need somebody's help anybody help okay 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 okay, okay. boom nice Actually, this, this was such a slow router for me at first. It took it so long to start doing anything, but when it started, hold your horses, everyone. It was like, you know, really cool. This one definitely ready to go into the soil, no doubts over here. I'll put it a little bit deeper, maybe a little bit too deep. <laughs> so Bridget Rose also asked, uh, would Agnes ever own a plant of his own? I'm not sure. Maybe I actually offered him to maybe take some of my plants to his new office area, to his, you know, desk and just have some nice jungle over there. But he's like, nope, not doing that until I will be sure that I'll stay in this work because I also offered him the same thing like a couple months ago when he was at the other work and he was fired because of the war and not enough work for all of the, you know, uh, employees so employers employees oh my god this is such a difficult one employees and employers if he would i'm pretty sure he would have something maybe with dark foliage and he actually loved one of my sensivarius before i killed it so oh and he also loves variegated plants like my monster borsigiana or my variegated syngonium podophyllum so maybe he would like something variegated as well not sure i mean he keeps on complaining that i have too much plants and i'm like dude did not you had enough time to get over it already <laughs> and move on <laughs> uh, just kidding just kidding just kidding i'm listening to him sometimes and as you probably noticed it's been a while since i bought a new plant for myself so I'm just being, you know, mindful and I understand that I am not the one who lives in this apartment. I mean, I have a roommate, <laughs> aka boyfriend, aka fiance, so. Okay, and we are almost done. Oh, this feels so good. Oh, man. Oh my gosh, I felt something ripping. Most likely it was some kind of fruit. Not cool, not cool, but it is what it is. Life is life. Here we have it. Beautiful plant. Cannot wait for it to finally grow a leaf or something. It doesn't seem like he will, but never give up, you know? Anyway, okay, let me put you a little bit upper. Anyway, so yeah, so this will be it for today's video. I know it's been a pretty long one and I apologize if I bored you. But I really hope you enjoyed it because I had so much fun answering all of those different questions about myself and my plan journey and my life journey and all of that. So let me know in the comments if I answered your question. And I mean, if I really answered your question and not just mumbled about random stuff. <laughs> I think I answered all of your questions, which is like a first. Let me know if I missed any of your questions and I will make sure to answer it in the comment section, obviously, because why not? Why not? This is so much fun. Okay. So, okay. So before going into our own live business, first off, please like this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, please like it. I will, I will really appreciate it. Please subscribe because why the heck not? We have so many planned business to talk about and to go through. So I, I would love for you to join on my journey and before leaving you let me teach you another language lesson since i know so many languages why not to share my knowledge with you guys and, who, and girls and who knows maybe you'll share some of these words with your friends and just surprise them with random stuff you know wow i did a huge mess over here oh, oh man okay okay fun one since we had a mushroom pot right it's the closest to me so let me teach you how to say mushrooms in lithuanian and in russian this time so if you want to say mushrooms in lithuanian you need to say gribai once again gribai and if you want to say mushrooms in russian it's actually pretty much the same all you need to say is gribai once again gribai this is it oh, 
okay, I need to put this spot down. I do not want to get dirt on it. Thank you so much for watching. I had so much, I had so much fun. I had a lot of fun. Yep, I need a break. <laughs> Thank you guys and hopefully I will see you in my next one.